Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a day since we figured out the future of the Chicago Bulls. We drafted Patrick Williams with the fourth pick in the NBA draft. But we did a lot more on that night that a lot of people might not notice. And it's going to be very interesting to see within the next few years how the two players that we're going to be talking about in this video play out. Because they look promising, they look like hidden gems. But at the end of the day, will we be able to see them in a Bulls jersey long term? Let's talk about it right now. Let's do it. What's up everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we have got a Chicago Bulls video once again, but this time it's in relation to the second round selection for the Chicago Bulls and also the undrafted player that we decided to sign. And I think a lot of people are going to be excited about these two players once they make their way over to Chicago. G League undrafted. Let's see exactly what's the future for these two players. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below. Are you excited to see these two players? I'm sure you know who they are, but if you don't, I will name them very shortly. Are you excited to see these two players make their way over to the Chicago Bulls and hopefully try and contribute, whether it's off the bench, whether it's starting, or maybe be given a chance in the G League? Because at the end of the day, we do have a lot of roster spots, and a lot of roster spots means that some of these players just that we drafted and signed might not be given the chance. Now, the reason why I didn't talk about this yesterday, even though I probably should have, and that's my apologies, is that yesterday was Patrick Williams Day. It's the fourth... It's the fourth overall pick. Uh, people wanted to give their opinions on Patrick Williams more than the other players that we did indeed draft and sign. So I wanted to give it a little bit of time before I discuss what what else has happened with the Chicago Bulls and hopefully you guys understand that but again he's been Patrick Williams is a divider it, it, it still seems like that but what I've seen on my YouTube video at least I have looked at others and again it's probably more divided on other channels than mine what I have seen is a lot of people are very happy with this pick and most importantly a lot of people are going to be patient and observe and wait and see and ultimately are giving this guy a chance because we all, and a lot of people did say this in my comments again, we all loved the players that we were linked to, Obi Toppin, Denny, Lamello, if he ever fell down to four, all these players that we were linked to. And they were great, and we started to fall in love with these players. And Patrick Williams was a player that we did not really get an opportunity to experience besides the day before. And that was really the only chance of us getting to know Patrick Williams as a basketball player, as a human, realistically. So for those people that are very upset about this Patrick Williams thing, and I haven't seen that many people out there, but of course, there's going to be rival fans. Again, uh, there's a Detroit Piston fan that I know that's absolutely dying um, about that pick, even though Luke Kennard is off to another team. Um, look, I'm just going to say, give this guy a chance, please. I beg, give this guy a chance. AK sees something in him. Billy Donovan sees something in him. There's clearly something in this player that will make him a very good player for the Chicago Bulls. I welcome him. I've already said it openly. I've welcomed him. But enough about that. Let's talk about the people that we have signed. So first things first, I think I want to go to the undrafted player um, first. So if you don't know who he is, he is uh, his name is, I believe, Devin Dotson. Uh, he is an undrafted. Um, he was undrafted in this NBA draft, unfortunately. I believe he played for Kansas. Again, if I, I will correct myself if I'm mistaken about that. He played for Kansas. He is, I think he averaged around 18 points per game. Um, he looks like a very, very, very good offensive player. Uh, he could definitely um, slash to the rim. He seems to be a very gifted finisher. He models his game off of Derrick Rose, and I think a lot of people will love that he is from Chicago. So again, it all makes sense to get this player onto our on, our on our boards. I'm still, to this day, well, it's been a day later, to be fair. I'm still very shocked that he wasn't even drafted because uh, I, I feel like there have been a lot of players, a lot of players that were drafted well before him. And I blame all that to scouting, to be honest. There hasn't been that much time to scout every single player. So I feel like people may have not given him the, the time of day. But thankfully, the Chicago Bulls, I still think we are one of the smarter front officers now in the NBA. And we picked up this player. Now, what does this mean? Um, look, again... 
He's 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 prides himself on on D Rose. He prides himself on his effort. And if you can tell, if you've watched some of his highlights, his off the ball presence is going to be massive. Uh, I don't think he's going to be playing for the Chicago Bulls straight up at the moment. He might given be given a chance in the G League and move his way up. I think it's a two way contract. So. If he can work his way up into our bench, I really think that his off-the-ball defense will be a key factor. Obviously, he's finishing. He seems like an elite finisher. If he could just deal with more contact, because of course, there'll be more contact in the NBA, and he can still find a way to finish around the ring the way that we see in college, I think he could be a very good player coming off of our bench and maybe start here and there. So that's the player that I see uh, Devon Dotson being. So yeah, I hope to see him succeed here. Uh, he's going to be a very interesting player. Again, the Bulls seems to have taken a chance on this guy because I still can't believe he wasn't drafted, really, especially in the second round. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure why he wasn't drafted. I think the only thing I would say he needs to improve on is, of course, the contact in the NBA and maybe taking more threes because if you're a big threat from the three-point range, then you're, you open up the whole court to your slashing game, to your playmaking game, etc. man. I think this guy averaged five assists in, the, in college as well, which is not too bad at all. So I'm really excited. I actually find this... I find this player very, very intriguing, and I want to see where we go with this because there are not many people that I think can beat a player off the dribble the way that he does and score from the paint the way he, that he does. So we do have some special talent in that area, but if he can improve other areas of his game that maybe are not so highlighted, I think he could be a very good player in the future for the Chicago Bulls. Long-term deals, long-term investment. Hopefully, that investment will pay off. And of course, you'd love to see a Chicago native from the Chicago area to succeed with the Chicago Bulls. I mean, even, even if I'm not from Chicago I know that meaning of course watching Derrick Rose I know the meaning of someone from Chicago succeeding in Chicago it means a lot to these people it means a lot to the Bulls fans all across the world so hopefully that can work out for us and I think that's the first thing that I did want to talk about moving on to our second round pick the Chicago Bulls had the 44th pick in the second round of the NBA draft and this is going to be a very interesting one as well as we might not see him for quite some time people might even forget that he will be a bull within a year's time but the Chicago Bulls decided to select Marco Simonovic but he's he's a European player he's a player he's six foot eleven uh, he has great size. He seems to be very, very um, fast for his for his size. Of course, he's very, very skinny for his size as well. Uh, he's a good three-point shooter. He seems to be very good off the catch and shoot. That seems to be his big um, strong point there. He also does major damage in the paint, in especially in terms of offensive rebounds and putbacks. And he can also shoot the mid-range as well. He seems to have a little bit of everything to his game. Um, a, a lot of people that were keeping an eye on this guy was saying Nikola Jokic 2.0 now that's a very big stretch and I'm not ever going to say that about our players until they turn out to be that so um I'm very excited to see what comes of this player but funnily enough the Chicago Bulls Arturis has confirmed that this is going to be a draft and stash type of deal so he will remain with his team for another year so we're going to have to keep our eyes on him within this year to see how well he's doing if he's progressing enough and is he worth a spot on the Chicago Bulls obviously this is the, the reason why is because we have a lot of roster foot spots and not only that we do have a lot of centers on this team we have Wendell Carter we have Daniel Gafford we have um Luke Cornet and we have Felicio so I don't see any of those players getting waived even though some of them should Felicio should get waived but again it's a lot of money to do so so maybe the Bulls don't go down that route and they wait another year to get those contracts off of our books and allow him to come in uh, I'm very excited to see what comes of this again this could be a very good hidden gem selection or this could be another Luke Cornet type player because Luke Cornet could do a lot of the things that we are saying this guy could do um, and Luke Cornet is not a really major key to the Chicago Bulls. But we wait and see. I'm very excited that the Chicago Bulls are drafting international players because I feel like that's where the NBA game is heading, where it's multicultural, multi-diverse. And um, it's, it's good to see that we're, we're a big part of that in the, in the NBA, as many teams are these days. So I'm going to be very interested to see. I don't know much about him. I, I don't think I will know much about him in a year's time. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that I know everything about this player. I know that a lot of people got confused about him for another player that had the, pretty much the exact name. And people thought we were drafting a 34-year-old, um, which is hilarious. And I, even I got fooled by that. But... All you have to do is just dig a little deeper. You would know that he's a 21-year-old. He was born in 1999. He, again, you know these things. Um, 
So yeah, that was really funny. And I, I actually had a good laugh at that as well. I couldn't believe we were going to draft a 34-year-old. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, I'm really ha I'm really excited to see what comes of him. Again, we might have to wait a year, potentially even longer. Maybe he does make his way to the G League as well once he comes here. Let's just see how he progresses in his team for the next for the next year, I guess. And we can see what happens. But um, anyway... That's going to be the end of this video. Very short video, I do must say. But before I end this video, I do want to say a big thank you to the Chicago Bulls fans for everything that has happened throughout the past few months. I mean, I started getting major traction when it came to the NBA draft. And we were all looking forward to the NBA draft. We were all excited for the NBA draft. And we ultimately had a very good time on this channel um especially towards the nba draft and and the trade period of free agency but mainly the nba draft and a lot of people got really excited and a lot of people start I, I started to get a little bit more noticed with the nba draft and now that that is behind us and we know the players that we have now we know what we're dealing with we know the future of this franchise a little bit more um i actually feel kind of sad it's like a big big part of what made this channel so noticeable for a lot of people. And I know it's not a big channel, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying the, the, the amount that I grew within that time from, the, from talking about the NBA draft till now has been enormous for me personally. And um, it's really sad to see that time go. But again, when something, when, when, a new, when a door closes, another door opens. And I'm really excited to see what, what we have in store. I mean, we still have the free agency period. I believe that starts tomorrow. We still have the, um, the trade period that's still going on now. Bulls can still make moves. We still have the start of the season. So we still have a lot of exciting opportunities and still a lot of exciting moments yet to come for the Chicago Bulls. But I can't lie and say that I'm happy that the draft is over. I'm actually really sad because that was a big part of this channel. And um, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it next year. But hopefully next year we won't be talking about the fourth pick, the third pick, the second pick. We'll be talking about the twentieth pick, the twenty-first pick, those types of picks. Because hopefully we'll be successful this year. That's what I want to happen. That's what I hope will happen. We still have so much more to talk about with the Chicago Bulls. So please, um, if you still are interested in this channel, please uh, continue to watch these videos. They are doing really, really well. I can't believe the success of these videos sometimes at least for the standards that, that I would expect from this from a small channel. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I really wanted to get that out of the way because I feel like a lot of people uh, might not really... I don't express my gratitude a lot these days, um, but I truly am grateful. I truly am thankful, and I want to thank you guys for sticking with me for so many months now. And let's, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. The grind won't stop. More Bulls videos. Of course, if you're interested in other sports, I do other sports as well. The grind will not stop on this channel. I will continue to work very, very hard to make this a very successful YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Take care and peace.